This episode of Tell Em Steve Dave is brought to you by Squarespace. Start building your website today at squarespace.com. Enter offer code TESD at checkout to get 10% off. Squarespace. Build it beautiful. Dave sat recording in a comic store, but Brian Q felt that they needed more. Quinn wanted women, adventure, and booze. Brian just wanted to debate hot button topics and not have to lose. So they traveled. Quinn driving, hitting pavements. Brian providing abundance of vague navigation. So whether they win or lose, triumph or fail, listen to this podcast and they will regale you with their tales. Space monkeys. Space monkeys. Space monkeys. Space monkeys. Ladies and gentlemen, get comfortable. It's about that time for the last show of the 2016 Impractical Jokers Cruise. And there's only one way to end it, and that's with drunken buffoonery. Offensive nonsense <laughs> and roll a roll. But first, but first, your opening act. Put your hands together for Jiggy. Yo, when I when I say ma, you say hollow ma, ma. Yo, what's the go? What's going on with this Justin Bieber album coming out? I understand the lyrics of this Justin Bieber album. What do you mean? I think Justin's lost his mind. When you nod your head, yes. But you want to say no. What do you mean? Uh, probably no. Unless it's, <laughs> unless the song was written by Bill Cosby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Space Monkeys. I'm Brian Quinn. With me is Brian Johnson. On the way here from Red Bank, New Jersey. Uh, we have a lot of mics. We have a lot of guests coming out. Uh, we got Roll the Roll. <laughs> Sweeping the boat, Roll the Roll. Everybody wants to play it. Well, here we are. Uh, I know we've been thanking you for coming, uh, on the cruise at every other show. So I'm not going to do that here. Sounds like a waste of all of our time. You going to say anything tonight or am I just going to stand there? <laughs> Hello. All right. Here we go. Well, you already fucked up. Uh, it's, uh, welcome to Space Monkeys, uh, presented by Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> And if uh, you don't get that joke, that means you weren't here last night. So <laughs> fuck you. That's right. <laughs> My dad's in the audience somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got tonight? Before we got, before we bring out the guests, I figured I'd give us a little alone time tonight. Yeah, it's, I mean, we rarely get that much alone time. It's always Walt Flanagan poking his nose in. What are you guys yeah. doing? What are you guys doing? What do you guys want to talk about? Yeah. Uh, first, really, uh, I want to say something serious, which is uh, a huge thank you from me to BQ and Sal and, and Murr and, and Joe for having me, because if it weren't for nepotism, I would be, I would have been under the ground like... Is this a professional-like situation where, like, I'm now responsible for your life because I saved it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but seriously, yeah, like, uh, it's good to have friends like these guys who aren't just like, hey, why don't you come along and hang out, but come along and, and, and do with me what we both love to do. And, you know, I, I'm, it's really nice to have people like this guy in your life that, uh, that provide you with opportunities. Uh, uh, 
Well, thank you for coming. And the second thing is I want you all to um, sign my change.org petition to get the Impractical Jokers off the air. (laughs) (laughs) Because they hate people with special needs. (laughs) Where's your evidence of that? Okay, so. Okay. (laughs) I... uh, (laughs) If, if any of you don't know, some of you may not, uh, I have a niece named Sage. She's more like my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she, she lives with me, and I've been calling her ship to shore. She's not really worth it, you know, $2 a minute. But uh, I called her yesterday, and she was acting a little bit last night. She was acting a little bit different, you know, okay. and I could hear her getting, like, choked up. And I said, what's wrong? And whenever something's really wrong, she goes, it's okay, it's okay. And I said, no, I said, tell me, what's wrong? And she said, I want you to come home. So I said, I'm coming home, honey. I said, I'll come home. I said, I'm on this, I'm still on the boat with Q. Because she's known Q her entire life. And she goes, no Q, dada, me. So I'm wondering, why would you guys take me away from her for so long? <laughs> That's kind of a jerk-off move. Yeah, I guess you're right about that, I guess. Uh, I've never really liked her. Yeah. She's not a good kid. I, I've said this time and time again. She is an arrogant little Down <laughs> syndrome child. She really does think she's the hottest shit on earth. This summer I was moving and I... Uh, I Took to, I was packing rollerblades. Now, she's never seen fucking rollerblades before. And she looks at them. She's like, what are them? And I said, they're, they're called rollerblades. They're like roller skates. And she goes, I do that. And I said, no, these are my size. You know, maybe someday we can get you your size. And she goes, I'll win. <laughs> Which means she's challenging me to a race. Right. And assuming she's going to win. And she's going to win. Yeah, there's no fucking doubt about it. In her mind, she's like, I'll beat him. Now, you do that race, do you let her win? Uh, or you well, you know show what? show her how the world works? Well, or we, do you lose because you're going to lose? <laughs> I mean, I would like to say, like, I let her win. But, like, when we have running races, she legitimately beats me. <laughs> She's a quick little thing. Um, what else are we going to talk about? You got, oh, you got your notebook. I have got? to uh, take exception with some of your these IJ fans. Oh. Yeah. They're, some of they're, these guys? They're, they're bullies, I hear. They, they, they've, been, uh, they've been harassing my, my new girlfriend. Yeah. That's what is right. What's happening around here? Well, get mm-hmm. to the bottom of this. One, who's your new girlfriend? Uh, her name is Kelly. Now, I'll let you decide. I said you're my new girlfriend. She okay. said, if I had a scientist build an inbred Frankenstein that I wouldn't fuck in a million years, right, right. I can only imagine he would come up with you. Right, okay. Which I said, all right, I'll just hang out in a holding pattern for a little while. I'll see what happens. <laughs> no, Kelly was the one who, uh, along with Sierra, got me all that fucking tasty IJ porn from last night's show. Oh, okay. And people have been accusing her of writing it. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't at last night's show, uh, Brian started the show with uh, IJ slash fiction. <laughs> Slash erotica. <laughs> slash erotica. <laughs> slash oh, smut. <laughs> what is it called? Well, I know it's called. I know it. Obviously, I know it's fan fiction, but isn't there with a, such a, authority? <laughs> I know such. Is there a subgenre called slash, which involves homosexuality to the hilt? <laughs> then this was slash fiction <laughs> because it was all about me being in love with Sal, Murray being in love with Joe, a lot of kissing and stuff like that, and uh, this exists. <laughs> and I have to live with that. Yeah, it was it was found on the internet. Like I said, I stayed up. I've been staying up so late. I've stayed up later in the last three nights than I've stayed up in the last like fifteen years. Like I don't. They're like, look how old he is, and he kept his eyes open. <laughs> um, and so we were talking, and they they brought this up, and I mean, you know me. Like the second I hear, I'm like, wait, what? How they bully them? What's that? How did they... Like I said, they're accusing her of uh, sullying your good reputation. But how are they accusing her? By going up and saying, I know you wrote it. <laughs> like in a confrontation L- Like she her? was... Yeah, she's in fear for her life. Well, is she here? Yeah, she's here. Where, where, where she? are you sitting? Kelly, just raise your hand. Kelly, she's somewhere around. Where is she? 
Kelly, you're gonna make yourself known, or we're we gonna do well, this? Well, fucking stand up night? or get my attention. Some. Oh, there she is over there. Hello, Kelly. Honey. Did you write it? What's up, baby? You did write it. Oh, so they're wrong. Is it okay if I call you Boo while I'm up here and then never again? Okay. Got it. All right. <laughs> uh, well, we uh, we have some guests tonight. Uh, are they are they at the side stage? Are you guys there? No. Yes. Yes. First one I, 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 I know is going to be a popular choice uh, with you guys. His name is Joe Gatto. He's on the Hit TV show, Practical Jokers. Come on out, Joe. There he is. Now this, I'm, I am very interested to, to have Joe on because Joe uh, has not been on Tell Him Steve Dave today. Yeah, he refuses to do Space Monkeys. <laughs> so I've never really seen you in, I don't want to say a mean-spirited podcast, because <laughs> uh, you do Pizza Beer Revolution, and, but that's a, almost, it's an excellent podcast. You so do, so does Ming Chen. <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, but it's always very positive, your appearances. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm wondering to see which way you go here. <laughs> well, I'm a positive person. I know, I'm just kind of <laughs> kind of seeing it. But just in case that Joe and his comedic sensibilities were... Too nice. We brought Owen Benjamin as well because <laughs> if there's someone I know, oh, God. That was right. all right, excellent, excellent. Uh, we also have uh, Theo Vaughn. Are you back there, buddy? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Who? I don't know how we don't start this without without having Theo <laughs> know, right? tell his well, hot tub story. <laughs> are, are you are you willing to tell that story? Yeah, man, it's just been a long day. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Theo. I, we were eating dinner, and Theo walked in and told me this story that was so funny. I almost threw up my goddamn lunch. <laughs> um, I'm hoping you guys find it as funny. Well, what happened was. Um, I woke up this morning, my legs was feeling kind of swollen at the bottom because, uh, I guess our family doesn't have really good muscles and everything. I have, I have an extra pair of compression stockings. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll try one of them first, (laughs) but uh, I'm not trying them both at the same time. But, uh, so what had happened was I got up, you know, barely because of the legs and, uh, I went out to the hot tub, you know, and so I get in there, I'm soaking my legs in there, right? A little fucking shady, you know? Kind of sounds like something kind of an older black man might do. <laughs> but I'm in there. It's early in the morning, right? And then this, uh, a child gets in there. You know, a child. And, uh, <laughs> and he gets in, right? And so I'm chill, dude, you know? I'm not a pedophile. I'm an adult male. And I'm, you know, I have some setbacks, but I, I don't feel like that's something that's different. <laughs> so I'm sitting there confident. But it does seem a little seedy because... Now I'm in here with this child, you know, and we don't even know each other at all. And, uh, and my foot, he like kept moving around. Um, and my foot kind of brushed like his, it was his thigh. I know that, not because I fucking, because after a while, as an older, you get older, you know how people's bodies are. Even if it's a child, if you ever hugged a young child and felt his thigh on accident, you remember that feeling. <laughs> so I touched with my foot a little, right? And so then, <laughs> Then this young fella starts, uh, so he starts tickling me a little bit. Like, really? <laughs> He's tickling you? Yeah, dude. Strange child on the Lido deck. Yeah, He's dude, like, tickling you. And I don't know this child, man, you know? And I don't even let children that I do know tickle me because I feel like it's like kind Against of like, the law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, cause I'm trying not to be a pedophile and he's like kind of <laughs> trying you have not to try. To be <laughs> he's was there, and was there any words exchanged or was he just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he's like, he don't have a lot of, you know, he probably doesn't have a lot of, he didn't seem like the wisest young fella. And so when I touched his leg, I thought he felt like it was on, you know, <laughs> he was a tickle fight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so look. He tickled me. I'm trying to just kind of keep him off, you know, because I don't fucking know him. You're stiff and, arming the tickle. Yeah, and it's really weird. So now you're assaulting the child. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm like kind of holding him off, and there's not much of his body out of the water except his chest. You know, he's <laughs> kind of a thicker little fella, and you, so you kind of are touching like his chest and skin a little bit. 
And uh, I was there the whole time. Theo was alone in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> but people are walking by, right? And now I don't you... fucking know this kid. So I'm trying to say shit that in case, like, I'm like, we just met, you know, like things. <laughs> <laughs> that make it all right for what you're doing to the strange no, child. Yeah, just like. In case, like, there's a people's a court case later or something, somebody will be like, well, I heard him say they didn't know each other real loud. And the we, the crazy part was he had been in a costume contest or something, I guess. I don't know. You guys have been having a lot of cool stuff for the fans. And so we had, like, uh, kind of, like, eye mascara, like, eye black or something on his eyes. And, a, like, a little cape on his back. In the hot tub? Yeah, dude. He's a you fucking You didn't take kid. the cape off? <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. He's a young child that's touching adults, man. It's like reverse molestation, uh, man. Yeah, I feel like I feel like he sexually assaulted you. Yeah. I feel like you should file a report. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do want to. Uh, and uh, y'all are recording this, right? Yeah. Okay, good because this is exactly what happened. And, uh, <laughs> but then it looks shady because people's walking by and I have my hand like on his shoulders and stuff, trying to keep him away from me, right? Like this, you know. And uh, his eyes, his mascara is <laughs> <laughs> His mascara was running. Well, whatever he's wearing, whatever y'all are putting on these children, mom. And uh, and so I just felt real nervous, but I couldn't get out because my legs hurt so bad, man. I had to stay in there and fucking wrestle with little Jonathan. I know his name was Jonathan. Little Jonathan. Asked. It's kind of, you like you couldn't go anywhere because your legs. It's like misery <laughs> when you're in a hot tub. <laughs> was that before or after we saw each other? Like when you were like, oh, because you were saying your cap yeah. was not up. Then that you was, went into the tub. Yeah, and that's when I went in it. So it was right before that. Yeah, oh, you got God. raped right after. I saw you. <laughs> so be careful out there, man. There's some young kids out here that I feel like have ulterior motives. <laughs> like when I was young, you got molested. You didn't like want to be, you know. It could have been worse. It could have had like goggles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or a snorkel. <laughs> a snorkel. Theo always takes it to dark places. Like we we rented a jeep in that island and we uh, drove to get lobster. And he just kept looking at trails and going, "Man, I could hide a body here." <laughs> I'm like, "Who the fuck thinks that way?" Everyone um, in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I had a question, Q, because yeah, you know, we do tell him Steve, Dave. It's me, you, and Walt. Now, if you're a listener to the show, you know that, like, if I say something, immediately one, if not two people are going to gang up against me, no matter, no matter what they really think. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, especially Flanagan, it's about arguing it. So there was this situation, and I'll, I'll posit it to you guys, I'll let you figure it out and see if I was in the right or wrong. Like, you know what Redbox is, right? Yeah, the DVD mm-hmm. thing. So DVD I'm, I'm rental, uh, it's a chick yeah, so, on her period. Yep. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> wow! <laughs> I like true. It. It's true. My bad. Red box. <laughs> no, they got it. You didn't need to say it again. Red box. <laughs> wow, he's saying it still, and he's still saying it. After fucking Dio's story, I get shit. He's talking about tickling in a fucking hot tub. I, I say got red tickled. box. I got tickled. No, I you do got anything. tickled. I know. I get it. You got tickled. Don't put that tickle on him, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but Theo's sitting in there asking for the tickle. Like, he was, he was like, I wasn't asking for it. No, your eyes say, make me giggle. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you look at me. I want to tickle you all the fucking time. <laughs> your eyes say, make me giggle. <laughs> you have one of those he eyes. looks at you like, make me giggle with your hands. <laughs> That's how you look at me. I've known you 10 years. I ain't even trying to see you like that. <laughs> Do you guys want to switch seats? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off the story. It's the red box. I'm That's sorry. right. So, so I'm at red box, and there's a guy ahead of me, and it's fucking freezing out because all the red boxes are outside. This guy's taking forever to mm. choose his fucking video. Mm. I'm standing there and waiting and waiting. Now, it, after during the process at a certain point, you can put in your email. So the fucking red box sends you shit that like, oh, this just came out. You know, it was out in video stores fucking a year ago, but here it is. Um, <laughs> so he then decides, oh, I'm going to put. Now, he knows I'm there. He sees me waiting. Right. So he goes and he puts in his fucking email Ooh. address, right? right? Which I think is very rude. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Come on. He finally finishes up and he leaves. Now, it took him a long time to put that email address in because he was uh, like one of those thalidomide babies. So he had <laughs> flippers. He was a uh, flipper child? Yeah. No way. And I but, thought it was extra rude knowing that you do not have the typing skills of right. a guy like me with fucking ten strong fingers. Right. 
that could have gotten it done like yeah. that. Does yeah. he need to hear from Redbox that fucking desperately that he's going to fucking make me wait in the cold? I mean, yeah. this is, I, I don't, I'm not trying to make an a, 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 a inflammatory statement, but if you're going through life with flippers, yeah. you might need all the contact you can get. Do you see what I mean? They immediately turn against me, like no matter what I say. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I, I understand his need for people to reach out to him because a lot of people are just like, hey, ooh. Yeah. And then, like, I'm not talking to the flipper guy. He's flipping right. out for help. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he wants any contact, even junk emails from yeah. Redbox. My uh, friend don't have an arm, and he uh, <laughs> he don't he don't unless he's, he's eleven. He likes hot a tubs. magician. You know? <laughs> unless he's like a magician. I, be, I bet you what. I bet your Theo could beat that guy in the tickle fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, you know he. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me think real quick. He, I, I, immediately, I was like, before I knew about the whole, you know, situation, um, I said to myself, well, you know, that guy's that guy's that guy's a dick. You're waiting. Like you could go home and log on at home. You could flip on you no, uh, you could flip on your computer. But you know what I mean. You flip on your computer at home and flip out on it, right. <laughs> and you, and you can just do it at home. Like, why does he have to do it right there? Because yeah. it's in front of him? Like, if you want that that bad, do it at home when a gentleman's not waiting in the cold. I couldn't agree more. Or just more. let him ahead of you. Were you acting like you had Like, he should have let you ahead of him. Yeah. <laughs> and then Were you, like, stretching upset? a lot? Were you like, oh, come on, yeah. this is taking forever. Yeah, but there's benefits. One-armed people can't be handcuffed. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I've been saying that for years. They can't be handcuffed. They're, they're truly free people. <laughs> I mean, in retrospect, I may have been flaunting my arms a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing jazz hands in front of him. <laughs> so how long did it take him to do the, the email? I mean, if, if I had to be completely honest, you know, people are like, oh, fuck, it took 15 minutes. It's like, no, it didn't. I, I would say a good, like, three to three and a half minutes wow. of fucking biting cold. It's and it's not like he can put gloves on please, and do it. Please right? tell me. He would only be able to do mittens, and that, that doesn't work. Please tell yeah. me you, you just got in front of him and started like looking like, oh, they never have the hand that rocks <laughs> yeah. the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> you like browsing for every hand movie you could. Oh, yeah. They have hand of God. <laughs> oh, they have flipper. Flipper's in. <laughs> oh, look, there's Blackfish. <laughs> the documentary about SeaWorld. Uh, uh, so... Um, <laughs> How do we feel, just collectively as an audience, about jumping right into Roller Roll? Does anybody enjoy that idea? I thought you might feel that way. So unlike last night, uh, I assembled the game before the show started. Uh, Brian, you want to explain the game sure. to everybody while I, I, while I go get it? It's a good, solid Christian game. <laughs> <laughs> where there's these two oversized plastic die that have um, characters on them. It might be like uh, an ant, and uh, or, you know, it might be a grown man and a little kid who likes hot tubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you rang. <laughs> um, so they roll. Uh, oh, each person nice. takes takes a roll, and then uh, a topic is given. Now the topic may be like, uh, okay, so Joe, you are. Uh, a very strict uh, Catholic, right? Very, very religious type guy. Um, and and Theo is uh, a chick who's like, you know, this is the third abortion I got this year. Do, do you think I should get another? <laughs> um, like, you know, moral quandaries they present, you know, to, uh, I guess, teach morals and lessons and shit like that. But the, this shit was from like what seventy two or something yeah, like a, that. Yeah, it was an early seventies. This game. So you know, I mean, even though I was born before seventy two, it's still like you think back to that time, and it's like everybody was really fucked up about. So I mean, everybody's up. always been really fucked up about religion, uh, but oh, yeah. But st I like the fucking like late, like mid to late seventies, early eighties when everybody was like fucking daycare center, satanic child abuse. Oh, what, you? Satanic child abuse, you know? Oh, you fucking... How'd you get your corn to fucking grow that high? Satanic child abuse. Constantly. Like, cases where, like, motherfucker stayed in jail for 10 years because mm -hmm. some kid was like, well, when I went to school, they took me on a ride on a flying elephant. Mm -hmm. We landed in the ocean, floated around for a while. Then the guy fucked me, and then we came on back. 
and they just dismiss everything aside from the dude fucked me. And right. they like show to they kill sh- a mockingbird. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. They they show the footage of. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> they show <laughs> like to kill a mockingbird. Did I skip a chapter? Bro, I feel like I'm like tripping balls right now. <laughs> like I'm picturing an elephant fucking like. I mean, you, you guys. It, it was. Fish, I, I love it. I'm elephant. down the rabbit hole. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, Atticus Finch. Gosh. Like once we get the uh, once we get the internet back, we're back in civilization. Yeah, go to like Wikipedia and look up the McMartin preschool case, and you're gonna be like, how the fuck did these cops actually? <laughs> how did they live with themselves? But like being like, oh my god. So you guys had hot air balloon races, and then went down into caves where there were naked demons and like all kinds of weird shit that these mm-hmm. kids said, and they show like the uh, the, the the interviews. <laughs> oh, so they put an inner, innocent person in prison? Oh, yeah. Uh, like oh, a, a guy that. and his mom. Like the mom was like fucking 60, 65 or something. Mm-hmm. Because the uh, the psychologists were asking them all these leading questions right. to get the kids to prove the case. <laughs> you know? It's one of those like greatest miscarriages of justice ever. You know? Jesus. All right. I don't trust Woo. them. All right, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get started. With that. Are you done? Because I got some fucking doozies. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, Jiggy, Jiggy, you here, buddy? Jiggy. Oh, J- Jiggy looks like he get, he Should we all take a pull of the bottle? Yeah. Jiggy have the perfect. Yeah, look, go man. for it. It's awesome. This, this I'm environmentally conscious. conscious. I don't want to waste a plastic cup. Yeah. Yeah, guys, if there's a bottle of Jameson in the back, if we could float that to stage, the show would be much better. Ladies Jiggy. and gentlemen, Jiggy. Jiggy's right Jiggy here. Jiggy right there. Uh, are there any other um, comedians from the show? I, a lot. Of, some of the guys said they were going to swing by, just to, and they fucking lied. So yeah, yeah. we're good with this group. Okay. So wait, guys. Q. You know, it, very quickly, I, I'm I'm interested. How many people came back tonight because they thought we may be reading more IJ erotica? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not, but I'm just. I wonder if those people laughed okay. up, man. Who wants to go first? We need two. We need two I'll volunteers. Two. I'll say they have a baby that looks like Dom Irera here too. I don't know whose baby that is. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful uh, young man. Why I, I never would have thought that unless you put it. You want to? You want to go? Oh with yeah, yeah, I'll go. Uh, okay, I'll go. Yeah. I'll go with Theo. I don't really understand okay. what we're doing, but I'll do it. Okay, trust me. You'll you'll get it. You'll get it. All right, you guys oh. pick up the blue dice. Okay. You pick up the red dice. Okay. Bring your mics. Bring your mic. Bring your mic. Yeah, this okay. seems like CNN. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you said it seems like CNN. You yeah, said the no, it's the good. Red. All right, here we go. <laughs> What's your platform? So all you got to do is <laughs> you're going to roll the dice. You're going to see who you are, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to read you the scenario. Okay. Okay. Do you want to roll your dice first? Oh, you can't. Even I am roll a yours. single grandmother. All right. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Hello. Oh, Theo is a blind boy. All right. <laughs> so, blue. You're a single grandmother. Red, you're a blind boy. Okay. (laughs) Don't walk off the stage, dude. (laughs) Theo's getting into character. (laughs) Here is your your situation. Show me where he tickled you. (laughs) Blue. Yeah. Wants to join a nudist colony, but is reluctant to do so alone. (laughs) So she invites Red to go with him to a nudist open house. (laughs) I'm not making this shit up. Red is uncertain and uncomfortable with the thought of public nudity. Red starts. Is he uncomfortable because he's like, what the fuck is the point of going to a nude resort <laughs> if I can't see shit? It might be the fact that it's his grandmother. I don't know. But let's, let's go. Red starts. Where are you, grandmother? <laughs> I'm over here, Theo. <laughs> And where is that? <laughs> it's a little bit to your right, but you don't need to come closer. I'm so blind. <laughs> and I'm so young and smoking hot. <laughs> I want you to join me, Theo. I have an adventure. Get on my elephant. <laughs> We're going to go to a wonderful cave where everyone is naked. <laughs> yes, sir, grandmother. The name is Lilac, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're already pretty into this. So the, the second act isn't there. Like, there's no tension. Oh, you're down. I don't want to go, grandmother. I'm just so tired from working all day. Where do you work, little blind boy? <laughs> oh, I've been working down by the sawmill. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like whoever hired a little blind boy at a sawmill was a real piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know him, but he sounded like a mean man. <laughs> I have something much better for you than a sawmill, little boy. What is it? I want you to smell what naked people smell like. <laughs> they smell like angels' tears. Yes, ma'am, sir. <laughs> I'm ready. Are we there yet? <laughs> I'm just warming up my hot tub. <laughs> I want you to come inside and tickle the fuck out of me. Please come with me. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> good. good. Nice work, guys. But we should say that the, the rules say there's a 30 second time limit. We go to like a minute Man. because these guys are too funny. Not to right in here. I was like the <laughs> avatar of fucking improv. All right. <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Before we get into that conversation, gotta take a quick ad break. Squarespace.com. That's right, squarespace.com. You wanna build a website or portfolio or an online store? Then you gotta check out squarespace.com. It is so easy, but still so professionally designed, regardless of your skill level, and there's no coding required. Easy to use tools, and get this a free domain if you sign up for a year. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code T-E-S-D to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace. Build it beautiful. How beautiful? Check out smodcast.com. Look how beautiful that is. We wouldn't use it if it wasn't beautiful, would we? All right, Joe and Jiggy, you guys want to take a shot at this? There you go. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, he All gets right. to do it with a real joker, and I got to do it with Owen. <laughs> he, he insulted you. Uh, <laughs> but I love you, though. I don't have my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, you want to roll? I'm a You're, little girl. He's a little girl. <laughs> Jiggy, you are an elderly, an elderly man. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. This writes itself. <laughs> okay, so. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Red, the little girl, discusses with Blue, the elderly man, her concern that some longtime members will leave the church if a minority family, <laughs> which has requested membership, is allowed to join. I mean, fuck the 70s, right? This is insane. <laughs> Blue feels strongly about equal rights and wants the family to be welcome into the fellowship, Red starts. <laughs> and they blind or not? No, 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 nobody's blind. I think they're just black. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's America's sweetheart, Joe got it. Here, right, here we go. <laughs> Playing a racist little girl. Here we go. <laughs> so did you hear about the blacks that want to join in? <laughs> oh, you mean those dark fellas that came over? <laughs> yes, I have heard about them. Oh, I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> well, you know, little girl, there are some bad ideas that are also a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, now... That does not sound right coming from an old man to a little girl. <laughs> Come over here, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> now you... <laughs> I, one thing I've always wondered about in little girls... <laughs> oh, what? Let's stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> what did your mama tell you about the black folk trying to come to our church? Uh, she said, stay away. It's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all entirely true. <laughs> but one thing you should realize that equal rights is how we got here in the first place. <laughs> I don't see you guys laughing at equal rights. 
<laughs> Don't wanna... laugh at a Jiggy's old man. <laughs> I want to know what fucking history book they're <laughs> reading. <laughs> this is a tutorial tutorial <laughs> video where I'm from. <laughs> All right, guys. You got 15. <laughs> this is what happens when you hang out with Theo Vaughn for four days. You got 15 days. seconds. You got to win this argument. <laughs> you got to win. I think that you should allow the black people to the church. And then we can all hold hands together. <laughs> While you were talking to me, they just stole your car. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Wow. I don't even know. Damn, dude. <laughs> sorry, Is this a terrible. rally? I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. The banners are going to drop any second. <laughs> who wants to go again? Theo, who you, you pick your opponent. Um, I think it should be you. Versus. No, not me. I'm a host. I'm a host. Oh, he is? Yeah, I am hosting. All right, me. All right. You need it. All right, me. Him yeah, all right, versus me. you. There we go. There you go. It's Brian versus hot Brian on Brian action. I was not prepared to perform tonight. So yeah. you're going to be. Uh... That's how we feel. <laughs> Oh, what, we, were we supposed to be prepared to perform? Because none of us were. I've so, never worked on an old woman's voice before. Oh, we can't do that one again. Yeah, Joe uh, was uh, watching uh, Mississippi Burning in his hotel room. No, we, we're, not gonna do, we're not going to do repeats. repeats. We're not going to do repeats. Yeah. Uh, you are a middle-aged mother, okay. Brian Johnson. This is an actual board game. <laughs> oh, I'm a neighbor lady. <laughs> All right. Okay, lady. this sounds like a porno. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> sounds like a porno. Yeah. Blue is delivering a pizza at a yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got middle-aged mother and neighbor yep. lady. Yes, all right. So uh, <laughs> the middle-aged mother has an illness that doctors say is incurable. She is considered allowing her body to be frozen until a cure is found. <laughs> The middle-aged mother asks the neighbor lady for her opinion. The neighbor lady does not believe in this practice and thinks that illness is sometimes God's will. Oh, oh, snap. Red starts. Red starts, okay. Neighbor lady, I'm so glad you're here. I just got back from the doctor. You are not going to believe what... Well, he said, of course, women are doctors in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what he said. Right. You want to hear some fucked up shit? Yeah. You know I'm a lesbian, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, <laughs> your middle-aged mother. Yeah, I have an incurable oh, disease. That box is banged out by all those kids you gave. <laughs> I have, wait, what was it again? I have an incurable disease and what? <laughs> yeah, you're you're going to get frozen. You, frozen. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get okay. my body frozen. Yeah. I have an incurable disease. I what do you have? Leprosy. <laughs> 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 That's what all this is about. <laughs> they could have cured leprosy in the 70s, you say. <laughs> no. So what he suggested was that I just, you know, I'll, next appointment, I just step into a freezer, <laughs> hang out until I'm dead, and then when they find a cure for leprosy... I'm golden. <laughs> okay, who who gave you this advice? <laughs> was it Ted down the street with the freezer in his in his garage? <laughs> yeah, with all the knives and the duct tape and yeah. the handcuffs. <laughs> I think. What, wait, what is my position? Your position. It's not. It's God's it's will. God's will. Okay. That she dies. Oh Jesus. Well, listen. It's God's will that she dies. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Diseases are God's okay, will. Listen. I understand <laughs> that uh, this might have jarred you. And I a little. And I understand that you have three children that rely on you for a mother. Your youngest is only nine months old. And my husband died of cirrhosis of the liver at 30. Yes, I meant to talk to you about that, too. That ties into this. Um, and I realize that once you die... You don't know my pain, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't me! Yeah, smack that bitch. There you go. I understand that once you die, your children will be given to the state because you have no kin. And I understand that they'll probably get, you know, a life of crime and that, you know, who knows, they'll probably get to a family that uses some child slave thing. Or possibly and, a hot tub with a middle-aged man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know all these things. But I have to tell you that I think that you getting a disease and dying, it's God's will. <laughs> it's you don't God's say. will. <laughs> yeah. Well, how are you feeling? Because 
Maybe a murder suicide is the <laughs> answer here. No, I feel good. I have these tits. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I just play with them all day. Why <laughs> hanging tits? What? I'm enabling. That's it. <laughs> I told you I shouldn't be in this. I'm too drunk. <laughs> 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 All right, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, all right, thank you. I don't really know. All right, come on. Who do you guys want to see go against who? You, uh, blonde from Australia. Pick two people. Oh, what a yeah. Joe. All right. Oh, fuck. This is going to be, this is going to be really intense. Oh, and you are a teenage person. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe, you are. No, we did oh, that we one. got elderly man did already. Oh, right, I'm elderly still an elderly man, man apparently. Is this thing no? I'm Red's Red's father. Who's Red? Who's Red? Oh, you're my teenage person. Yeah. And Uh, what is uh, you again? I'm a teenage person. I I get to choose my gender. All right. I love that this game was so beyond. It was so beyond me and you that neither of us realized that Red's (laughs) father (laughs) meant the Red Cube's father. I got it. Okay. (laughs) So. (laughs) Okay. Wait a minute. Is this a real game? (laughs) This is a real. That's the box over there. That's a real board game from the seventies. That is unbelievable. Walt on eBay for like nine bucks. That is. Fucking amazing. Wow. Crazy. Overpaid. All right. All right. So, Red's father was responsible for a hit and run accident earlier today <laughs> and is afraid to report it. <laughs> you keep your bitch mouth shut. All right. So, that was Red's father. The teenage person urges his or her father to call the police. Oh, yeah. All right. So, basically, what we have here is Joe. You murdered someone earlier today, mm-hmm. and for some reason, your teenage person is talking to you about it. All right. Here now, we go. I don't want to tell you who how starts. To... Oh, I'm sorry. Blue starts. I don't want to tell you how to play it, but certain leaks need to be plugged, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm an Italian from Staten Island. Yeah, okay. I got you. Yeah. All right, Joe. Go ahead. Oh, then. I fucked up. <laughs> Daddy done fucked up. <laughs> Daddy done fucked up a little bit. <sighs> hey, Dad. Uh, you I take me to so- person. Do you mind if- Can you take me to soccer practice? I'd love to, but I got a little problem with the front end right now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did you hit the Kool Aid man? <laughs> Because there's all this Kool-Aid all, all over the car, Daddy. What is that? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I got my you, shin guards. I got my ball. You want to go to soccer? No, I'd, I'd love to, but Daddy's got to run a little errand to the hardware store to pick up a shovel. Uh, oh, my God. There's a body in our back seat, Dad. Who is that? Shh. He's sleeping. Dad, we got to call the cops right now. No, he's just sleeping very heavily and covered in Kool-Aid. Do people sleep with their eyes open? Wide open. That's the way. Dad, his dick has been hit off. Yes. He doesn't even have a penis. I, I, I took it off and I, I got nervous. I didn't know what we to do. we got to call so the cops right it. now. I ripped the we dick right off. we got to go to the rotary phone right now and do 911 because <laughs> it's 1972. I tried to pull myself to it. I got to the nine, the one, but I couldn't do the last one. <laughs> If Dad, I go away, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to live with your mother. And I've always. I got some. News. I've always known you were a goddamn coward. <laughs> oh, 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 listen, you remember, Dad. You remember who your father is, you little bitch. <laughs> Seeing as I'm a foot and a half taller than you, I don't think you are my father, Dad. Especially because I'm also black. <laughs> well, there's a funny story about that too. See, I met your mother when she was stealing the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Boom. Done. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's tough to beat. That was an Archie Bunker episode, wasn't that it? I think so it was. Now, just so you know, the, the correct answer in that situation was you freeze the body until they come up with a cure for death. <laughs> oh, nice. You, you just said the Archie Bunker. Did you just see this thing that went viral a little while ago, the Archie Bunker? I don't know. I don't want to throw it. I'm sorry. But no, go. They said the, uh, go, go, go. He just said, that reminds me of an Archie Bunker episode. Then, and I just saw online, they just released like this weird one that never aired or whatever where Edith gets uh, raped by the next door neighbor. No yeah, way. no, that was aired. Yeah, yeah. And was like I'm old it. enough that I remember but watching they it. Made, oh, they, made it they made it a, it's a comedy show and they tried yeah. to make it funny yeah. and Archie comes home halfway through because he's next door yeah. and, the, and the guy who's trying to rape her is just hiding in the closet 
with the door open. Yeah. And Archie never sees it. It's the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and well, Archie's man. like, well, why are you dressed like a slut? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how about Hogan's Heroes and set it in Nazi death camp? Yeah. Does anyone want? No, that was a popular television show in America called yeah. Hogan's Heroes. Oops, it was sorry. a sitcom at a Nazi death camp. <laughs> What about yeah. Quiznos going Every- out of business, though? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that- did it really? It's going out of business. How? Quiznos, so get your sandwiches now. Quiznos uh, going out of business? That it, no, they are shutting down. Honestly? Yeah. No. Well, I thought they'd thrive now because of the whole subway thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. No? You sure about this? Where are you getting your information? We're but, in the middle of the fucking ocean. 100%. I don't know. You can't Google, Theo. <laughs> Oh, dude, where did you hear that from? earlier? Did the little kid in the hot tub tell you that? It quiz nose and had a guy going like this. <laughs> I swear, nothing makes me feel older than like when I say something and I look in the person's face and I'm like, they're young enough that I have to explain this reference. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I know I'm old. They're like, well, why don't you reference like, I don't know, the, and Ka- then you the s- Kardashians? But, but it's, yeah. get, it's getting to the point where it's like, hey, kids, human empathy is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's when you look in someone's eye and not your phone. Yeah. It's crazy. A but connection. Yeah. But then on the other hand, there's kids out there willing to fucking tickle struggling adults. Completely innocent men just trying to soothe their muscles. Bunch of little gold digging children out there. There is a world. Trying to get that, he was looking up. for that lawsuit money, I think. Yeah, they want that Theo Von. Yeah. He wants that TBS deal with it money. He's been yeah. talking about <laughs> This Howie Mandel's a... got a earpiece in the kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, tickle him, tickle him. <laughs> I honestly thought it was you guys. I swear to God, I'm like, there's no way there's a kid with running mascara and a cape on. Howie Mandel comes out and is like, deal with it. You want 500 bucks. <laughs> you let a kid molest you, you want $1,000. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I thought it was Murr. You disguised him a little. <laughs> I'm like, man, Murr lost a little bit of weight overnight. <laughs> Why is Murr wearing mascara? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he even gets shit when he's not here. The yeah. It was a designer cape, so I definitely thought it was Murr. <laughs> it was. Q, do you want to go against the grain and pull two people? <laughs> See if they have what it takes? Oh, my God. But you don't, you don't feel like these people are going to give us duds? Well, it's a minute and a half. <laughs> don't tell me. I gave you a dud. <laughs> All right, who feels they're up to this? Wow, this bad bitch. You pick one cue. Oh, someone's, wow. <laughs> someone's going for well, it. We have two women. I want a man sure. for this. I want, I want, we'll, get, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Do we have a dude? I want a dude. Is there well, a dude? What about the guy that take a shit? What if you don't feel you're up to it, then what? don't do it. Nate, you want to do this? All right, come on. That guy's an adult. Yeah, Nate is a <laughs> long time Tell Him Steve Dave fan. <laughs> what up, Nate? Nate Dog. Nate uh, won won this cruise. He got here on for free by... Yes. Wow. He won it on an episode of Tell Him Steve Dave. And we feel... Let me ask you something. Now that, the, now that it's all over, yep. everybody feels you cheated and looked on the internet for your answer. <laughs> everybody. Did you? I did not cheat. Be a fucking man and, and tell the truth. I didn't cheat. You guess get him Steve Day's rambling nonsense on your own. Yeah. Jimmy Stewart. Well, I mean, okay, because look, this is one thing that helped because there's a... A thing called the internet, and I looked it up. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no. Well, no. One, I was hiding from, like, um, managers at work. No, Let's try that. rolling. What is your name, Zuda? It's going to be in your head. What is your name? Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, you need a mic, Amanda. So here, take mine. Hey, I need take mine. Mm. <laughs> All right, we got this. Okay, roll the die. Let's get into this. Thank you. If you two, I got a news for you. I know you two look a little nervous. If you fuck this up, I've actually played it before. We're not. Go- oh, you played wait, wait, it before? You played it before where? At my church. Did Owen roll the dice. <laughs> oh, talking to the mic. <laughs> You're in trouble, big guy. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> what do you mean? What church? Okay. I'm okay. a uh, preschool teacher and a youth group leader at a Methodist church huh? where I'm from. What, the, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here? Why did you come to this show? Did you think it was going to be like... I'm, I'm a huge Tom cool. Steve Dave fan. Wow. But, but wait a second. <laughs> they still use this game to teach children? Yes. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> this is like it. a racist, sexist acid trip. So right now, they think that diseases are God's will on people. Mm-hmm. They're like taking penicillin and shit I is a bad idea. I have to do what my idea. boss tells me. With the, with the big yeah. fake dice and shit like that? It's the exact same one. I like it. 
I mean, I'm getting a chubby, but like, let's do this. All right. I like it. Go ahead. Roll red. Let's see who we got. Person in a wheelchair. Person in a wheelchair. We're already off to a great start. And Nate the Cheater gets Red's girlfriend. So, <laughs> so you're a... Well, no, you could be a man or a woman. This yeah, don't cheat on her, dude. Well, you know what? Let's play by her rules. Right. Women don't date each other, so you right. have to be a dude. A dude in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And you're the, you're the girlfriend. Okay. But put now. your hair back so you look more like a little, like a, like a, like a kind of like a oh, nice man. Hair, so. And maybe let me tuck, can I tuck her hair into her jacket? Yeah, ponytail that shit up. Yes. Pretty, I don't care. Show that pretty face of yours. <laughs> oh my god, it's a man. <laughs> now be like a young man. Do you know how to do the math thing? Yeah. Hair tie. I'm in a wheelchair. I got one that's good. Like a beautiful little man. All right. All right, here we go. That's his girlfriend. All right. Ponytail, ponytail. Okay, so. Man, dude. <laughs> you're, you're a woman in the 70s. Do whatever you'd like. Do side pony. Fuck it. Wow. All right. Nate, are you listening? Okay. So, Red's girl, that's you, disapproves of the fact that a minister of her church is dating a member of the congregation before his or her divorce is final. You know this card? Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> you know this card. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, this scenario. <laughs> Red's, Red's girl, that's still you, thinks the minister should be asked to leave the church? Yep. That's and normal. ask for Red, and ask uh, the wheelchair girl for help. <laughs> now, How do people play this game? I have no clue what the hell you're saying. All right. Isn't it fucked up that English is his first language? <laughs> <laughs> you want to read that? We got this? the wheelchair? Or you want to no? read that? Yeah, do we got your wheelchair? <laughs> Someone on the cruise guess, does. Will anybody give up their wheelchair? If you're in here, you could probably just have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Dude. Okay, sorry. Blue. Blue. And I'm guessing that's the... Red's girl. Confederacy. Red's girl. Yeah. <laughs> Blue disapproves of the fact that the minister of his church is dating a member of the congregation before his divorce is final. Right. Blue thinks the minister should help Blue thinks the minister should be asked to leave the church and asks Red, the wheelchair man, for help. Red also belongs to the church and sees nothing wrong with the minister's actions. Mm -hmm. Red believes that the minister's personal life is his business. Praise God. (laughs) Blue starts. Blue starts. Can you believe what he is doing? (laughs) Ministers need love, too. (laughs) Well, he just you're got standing out awfully of it. tall for someone yeah. in a wheelchair. I'll tell you that right. <laughs> right now, I'm not believing your act. Yeah, wheelchair up a little. <laughs> uh, there we go. This looks like an Avril Lavigne photo picture, where like she stands fucking twenty feet away from the person. <laughs> There's no reason not to move closer. Get in there. <laughs> but he is divorced, and they're not even done yet. That's the Piper sister. Wait, there. hold on. A is that your real accent? No. <laughs> <laughs> How about we don't fucking Daniel Day Lewis this shit? <laughs> And maybe just stick to reality and like emotions. Nobody, okay. Nobody can understand what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even I didn't even know we started. <laughs> all right, Nate, come on, babe. The papers are still out there. Uh. Well, we all know his bitch wife cheated with the choir director six months ago. What difference does it make? Well, with the whole choir, but that's totally out of the question right now. Somebody's clearly played this game before. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Can I just ask you what you feel this is teaching children, this particular Nothing. scenario? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I think respect, probably. <laughs> all right. All right. Keep going. That was the whole choir, not just one. Then, one. then why is it a problem if he dates one of the other choirs? I mean, uh... He's outgunned. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really formulated my argument. Can I yeah. back to you? It's like he had his Google and answer. <laughs> <laughs> You cheating fuck. <laughs> I'm getting ganged on shit. <laughs> Just like the minister. Well, oh. his wife. His ex-wife. But don't forget it's... that you guys are in a relationship. Yeah, somebody got to suck. Yeah, there has to be love, a loving <laughs> undertone. <laughs> yeah, you guys have... Have right. some fucking backstory, Nate. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling that you guys are in a relationship. Can I see a little of yeah, that? I don't you remember dick yesterday when I walked you... You didn't walk me anywhere. I rolled you all the way around. (laughs) You're out guns. You're out guns. 
admit defeat. Put your microphone down and walk the fuck away. I know. Might as well. But I rolled you. <laughs> Wait, I want to see where this is going. All right, let's my, go. my favorite part is he's got big tail still. <laughs> I rolled you after church all the way until Chick-fil-A was open on Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, but it was a bumpy ass sidewalk. But Chick Fil A and the minister. I, I don't understand what Chick Fil A has to do with the minister banging somebody else. Because Chick Fil A is owned by the minister too. Did Someone, you not know that? He told so, that in the last sermon. He said he just threw in a wait, soap hold on. twist. <laughs> <laughs> There's a second card here. here we go. Damn man. Uh, Blue wants to incorporate the wheelchair into their sex life. <laughs> Red starts. <laughs> Red starts. I see a little off road. <laughs> I don't think our uh, support beams can hold it. <laughs> well, I just bought the Kama Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many positions that we can wheel around. <laughs> hold on, wait. Just say it's wheelie, wheelie hot. <laughs> <laughs> just roll with it, honey. <laughs> Maybe we can clip some baseball cards on it to get some little extra friction. You're going to motorboat the wheelchair? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's going to sound pretty fun. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on a second. Here we go. Update. Hold on. Red starts getting feeling in her legs again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Blue is not enjoying it because he only likes uh, the fact that she was paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. So now that I had the surgery and I can walk again, let's go for a run. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> Hey, praise God. Hey, you give well a round of applause. Sir. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> praise God, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Guys, that was awesome. Beautiful. Give it up for Nate. That was, he ended strong. Guys, yeah, yeah, Beautiful young adults right there. We got that midnight. All right. We got to get you with Jiggy. Pick your partner. One more. Oh, wait. Do you guys want to end this shit or you want to go like another couple of rounds? Let's do a couple more rounds. A couple more rounds, right? We're going to get the jig man out there. We're allotted, we're allotted for 15 more minutes. You want to just take it and use it, right? Let's do it. Yeah, oh, Casey's, Casey's here. Casey's here. Yeah. Oh! That guy's yeah. hilarious. That guy's Casey. hilarious. By the way, if there's any, any of our guests are here, uh, just come, come right up like Casey just did. Yes. Please come up. Love All right, Casey. Grab a seat. Joe, grab a seat. Casey Joe's listening to <laughs> All right, Casey, you're going to go with Jiggy. Great. Love it. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. The this... Jigster. Oh, I love this. Okay. They're handsome, too. You guys handsome. Yeah. Hey, right, microphone, now... microphone cheers. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. That was... <laughs> okay. Uh... Makes your dick turn the so other roll way. roll first? <laughs> yeah, you, you roll first. I we had a blind, this. but we already had blind boy. Okay. Are there any that we didn't have? Uh, all right, just fuck it. Just wait, can it. we Ooh. can we just break it apart and mix young two? Man. Young man. There you go, young man. All right. Like a village people person? <laughs> <laughs> young man. <laughs> oh, great. Older or younger? Okay. That's up to you. Now, all Willie. Right. So hold on. Before we continue with this, uh, Joe Gatto just had a genius idea. Yeah. He's saying for the next round, we forego the die and go to you guys to see who player one and player two is. Amen. Yes. Okay. yes. So, Praise God. So start thinking right now because we're going to go to you after this. Okay. So Blue is despondent and tells Red that he is considering suicide. <laughs> so despondent means sad. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> Or excited. Or, or diarrhea, <laughs> too. <laughs> Red. If you're despondent. Always, see the brighter, always sees the brightest side of life and tries to give Blue hope. Blue starts. So, wait. You're a young man. You're, you're the mother? <laughs> wait. No, no. I'm a brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, you got to be yeah. urban, bro. So, All get right. your chime on, man. All right. So, Blue starts. <laughs> wait. I'm you're, still a young you're man. You're feeling a little down. You're feeling a little He's down. A brother, are, huh? Are we going to the audience at all or no? No, I think that's that's the next, no, one. next okay. one. Next, next one. one. Next gotcha. One. No, he's not even just feeling down. Here he we go. has to convince his brother that suicide is the only solution. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like that's your job. And I'm just positive, right? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Turn up. You weren't here for my first one, but it was really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should just end it now. <laughs> that's great. Heaven's gonna be amazing. <laughs> It's 
Check me. Do you right? think four feet will do it? What? <laughs> it's only four feet. Do you think that will do it? Uh, no, you'll just end up in like wheelchair girl. <laughs> I don't think, I think, honestly, you gotta, you know, shoot for the stars because if you miss, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, I think I should, could you help me like jump off the boat? I want to make sure like if I go out, I want it to be like a big, a big deal. God, like, like you want me to throw like a suicide party for you? <laughs> yeah, like I want to jump off the boat and then, but then my suicide will be affecting like 3,000 other people because then everyone will have to wait for me to get rescued. Wait, I, how? <laughs> But then how, I hope how, I, how well known do you think you are here in the situation where you jump off the boat and everyone's gonna and there's only like eight hours left of this of this ship before we land. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm famous enough to inconvenience people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't You're you right. know how to I suicide? just die alone? Isn't that my goal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be positive. Yeah, <laughs> dying alone is great. You you know you you've always been introverted, and it'll just be fun, and you just get to do it all by yourself. You know. Mm -hmm. Remember like, how much grandma loved it? <laughs> you died. You died like you had sex just by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't right. I, I I can't say this. I I think you have a lot to live for. Okay. I mean, you pull off pink, you... <laughs> you it's fuchsia. It's, yeah, it's what I, call it salmon, call it fuchsia. You know, it's, 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 it's great. You pull it off and you got a lot to live for. You know, there's a lot of people out there. You know, you drop a mic like no one's bizwax. Yeah. <laughs> and you're still getting taller. Think, yeah. <laughs> I don't have my cushion. Your, right, your hair's growing you got your in. baby teeth. <laughs> hey, no, honestly, I think everything's great. Everything's I just great. Wanted, I want to end it now. <laughs> right now? Right now. <laughs> You haven't really said why yet. I mean, you just seem so despondent, but I don't know, I don't know what's going on. What, why? Tell me why you're sad. Maybe I can help. I'm having a lot of issues, but they're internal, and I haven't told everyone about them yet. It's mostly with my heart. Tinder doesn't work on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Listen. <laughs> That's funny because Jiggy, when we're on tour, just gets laid all the time on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's funny to us. You guys, get dude, well, you guys just go fuck yourselves, already? I guess. <laughs> Jiggy, hey. you dying or not, dude? Yeah, Jesus. just fucking commit. I'm, I feel like I'm dying up here right now. Is this good enough? You can't even die. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm dead. <laughs> all right, so, uh, all right. so you're oh, good. Yeah. All right, now you're a ghost. So just won That's that good. round. All right. You did really well, though. But he convinced you to kill yourself alone. It's we're like gonna keep, wilding out, but it's horrible. Keep, we're going to keep Casey, Casey in because he just got here. That's uh, the first time ever in Roll and Roll where it's been like, tune in next week for the conclusion. Right. <laughs> uh, Do you mind if I improv a little with Jost? No, no problem at all. I'm happy for oh, that. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Here we I go. Roll them dice. Oh, wait. No, no. The audience. <laughs> what do you got? All right, you're an up-and-coming break dancer. <laughs> I am. You're an up-and-coming up break dancer. <laughs> and you're a gay fireman. Great. Okay. Ooh. Honestly, my I think, my, she, was I my, think she was talking to Quinn. Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was she reading your Wikipedia? Well, yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> I think she just Googled Brian Quinn again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gay fireman's great for me because my mom will be happy because I'll have a, a city job. My dad will my dad will be happy because he's always known. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so Dude, great okay. show by the way. That's so fucking great, guys. No gay and up top. All right, <laughs> okay. So what do we have again? We have up coming great break. dancer. Right. You're yeah. red. You're blue. You're a gay fireman. Great. So what's the, what's the conflict? Oh, Here we go. What's the scenario? Oh, I don't have oh. to. Okay. You don't okay. believe in fire. You don't believe in fire. Trust me. <laughs> Owen. Red is on a co is on a committee arranging for for help, food, clothing, etc. I'm red. For right? a group, what? I, am I red? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. You, he's red. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> Owen is on a committee arranging for help, food, clothing, etc. For a group of refugees, topical, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> who have arrived at the church. Red asks Blue for help. Blue, the gay fireman, is very independent and self-sufficient <laughs> and doesn't want to bother with other people who should learn to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Owen starts. <laughs> Refugees. <Cool. laughs> You call that dancing? <laughs> I'm up and coming, bitch. <laughs> I still got to learn shit, but I got a lot of heart. <laughs> Yo, man. I got a bunch of people in some need of blankets. 
Oh, I, I love this. I could turn anything into a nice uh, fashion accessory. <laughs> really? Especially, you should see what I do with fires. <laughs> <laughs> You put them out. That's what you do. You're a fireman. I'm not talking about fires, bro. I'm talking about these people need some food and some shelter. I got some people here that are fucking super hungover, and they don't have a ride home. Yeah. I think, I mean, honestly, I, you think I just put fires out? That's a stereotype that has, <laughs> You're called that has plagued, <laughs> plagued my, my people. Listen, man. Whoa. <laughs> If a firefighter doesn't put out fire, then what the hell are you good for, bro? Because I know what I'm good for. <laughs> I'm good for being really subpar at breakdancing. But I got YouTube, bitch. I can learn. Just like these people need to learn how to take care of themselves. But until then, I need help. Look, all they have right now are those oily rags. And I know what happens with those. What happens with oily rags? I jerk off with them. Really? And they can combust. They can go on fire. Okay? So I don't want to help. <laughs> Listen. Theoretically, everything can go on fire. Whoa. But that's not what I want. I need, I need some water for these poor Mexicans. <laughs> I Honestly, all we need to do the is... The Rio put... Grande is dry. <laughs> I need help. And you're a firefighter. You're wearing the full gear right now. Yeah, Brandon, I'm picking up your, your eye-fucking me up here. But that's a, that, that has nothing to do with the, anything. Uh, you said I'm eye fucking you up here, which you didn't even point it to your crotch. Was that just a dance move? No, it's because I'm six seven and everything is up here. True. That's absolutely true. I can't fight that. Wait, this, I, I say we just put out a little tip cup in front of you. I mean, I know your moves. I know I'm up and coming, man. I have no skills. No, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> Do you feel that? You came. You're not up and coming. You came. All right, all right, all right. So You're bad. up and came. All right, amazing. That's right, amazing. All right, Joe right, just... Gatto, Theo, you want to give a shot again, buddy? Yeah, wow. All right. Me and Joey G. All right. We go to the audience for uh, Joe Gatto is. You're a pregnant teen. You're a pregnant teen. That's easy. <laughs> Typecast much? Theo. All right, kid. What do you got? How a sumo are you wrestler. Today? All right. You're not blind anymore. You're a sumo wrestler. You're a pregnant teen. <laughs> what? I sure am ready for my next fight, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> Theo, All right. Do you know how this game works? You're not blind anymore, Theo. You're a sumo wrestler, man. And you're no, he's Asian. Team. It just looks like All right. <laughs> Gotcha. My bad. Joe tells Theo... Joe tells Theo that... <laughs> he's a blind sumo. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Lilac, sir. <laughs> Jay, Joe, you tell the, the sumo wrestler that your employee is cheating the customers, okay? You're afraid to do anything about it for fear of losing your job. You're a pregnant teen. Sumo wrestler, <laughs> you try to persuade the pregnant teen to report the discovery even at the risk of losing his job. Yes, sir. Okay, Joe, Joe starts. Joe starts. I don't even want to say anything. I just want to stand here and watch him do this for 10 minutes. Well, I'm certainly in a predicament. Who goes there? <laughs> Name's Lilac, sir. Uh, it's me. It, it's me. F Fantasia. <laughs> yeah, lower. It's me. Higher. <laughs> it's me. Listen, I've got a real predicament. I feel it, honey. No, not that. <laughs> that was a happy accident sent to me by Jesus. <laughs> it felt like two predicaments, honey. <laughs> 
It felt like twins. But I'll wrestle both of them to the death. Please. <laughs> Name is Lilac, sir. <laughs> Been working in the field, sir. I don't, I, you're a sumo you're wrestler. You're a sumo wrestler. What fields are you working in? <laughs> And I've been wrestling. I've been wrestling with these feelings inside of my soul, sir. We so tired, sir. We want some water, sir. I understand because I've been wrestling with something. I've been wrestling with something at work. We want some water, sir. I really should find somebody else to talk to at this point. That could possibly help me and not just roll around. This isn't a fucking community theater of roots. Get up and be a sumo wrestler. Name's Lilac, sir. You'll win eventually, don't worry. We tired as hell, sir. We so tired, sir. I know you're tired as hell. I just need you to focus and help me. We've been wrestling and tending to these crops, mister. Stop working on the farm, you're a wrestler. Why are you on a farm? Listen to me, love. It's so hard to work, sir. I can't, I can't carry this championship belt anymore, sir. You have to wrestle. You don't have to do crops. All you have to do is wrestle. This is why you've never won a match. <sighs> sir, I gunned on a... I done thrown a million rounds with this cotton, sir. You know, you know, you know what? Fuck it. Give me your wallet. I'm going to get an abortion. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. And scene. Peace, asshole. <laughs> Guys, ladies and gentlemen, please thank you for joining me, Brian Jenkins. Thank you, Theo Vaughn. Thank you, Joe Gatto. Thank you, Owen Benjamin. Thank you, Jiggy. For myself and Brian Johnson. This has been an amazing experience for us to do a Space Monkeys Live again after so much time. Thank you all very, very much. Have a good night.